each and every level there are some seeds you must drop for you to continue high. It might be anger that you disconnect from every good person that would truly bless you. You have anger, you are too much of a rumor monger. There is something that has been assigned to proceed from your heart and then corrupt the good seed. Look at yourself and see is there any seed in me that have been assigned to corrupt me? In Jesus' mighty name. Are you there? In each and every day you meet Christ, each service. You need to do something. God needs to prune you so that you can shine. Are you there? When you're pruned, you shine. You know, if you leave a good plant in a bush, because you plant a good seed, the enemy also brings these seeds around it. The, the, the bad seed to destroy the good one. So that's why we need to clean our garden all the time. Yes, so that is the good seed in us may germinate and grow and bear good fruits. That's the purpose of deliverance. It prunes. Are you there? You know, we are living in a corrupted world. After God created everything and saw it was good, the enemy tried to come and take over. So he began corrupting everything. Are you there? Big time. You know, the gifts in you, like I told you, this gift is usually under attack. The enemy plants some weeds around it. Just corrupt it. Are you there? Big time. And that seed is in the heart. If you read the book of that's Matthew, chapter 15 verse 19 Matthew 15 19 uh -huh. Matthew chapter 15 verse 19 for out of the heart proceed evil thoughts murders, adulteries fornications, theft false witness, blasphemies out of heart proceeds Bad seeds. So it means that around the heart, the enemy planted something bad. And it was the intention to corrupt you. To corrupt your good seed. You find that he has planted a seed of fraud. That whenever you get a contact, the first thing that comes in your mind, how do I defraud this one now? Straight away, the person has come to you, has seen a good gift in you, has seen the futures that truly you can do something good and want to work with you not for only one time but for more times to bless each other. And then because the enemy has put a seed of his own around your, the goodness around you. He has planted the bad one called fraud. Wherever you look at, you think on how to, to do something very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in that, either you succeed or fail, it will hurt you. You have got a contact that would have blessed you, but the enemy has corrupted it. 
and then you end up losing such good contacts. They go saying, ah, that one is a fraud. Are you there? Big time. The good thing around you, the enemy has planted something to corrupt it. So that you may fail. Know that you may succeed. Know that you may fail. So that whatever you look at, as you Samas, begin thinking to bear good fruits, the corrupt spirit comes. If it is stealing, it will come. You've got a job. You've been some good years out of job. As you sit like this, your eyes are moving at where to steal. If you are, if you are, you, you, you are pervasive. You look around. Is there any beautiful person here? You may end up touching the boss's meat. Are you there? And boss says, hey! You're suspended. What have I done? It's a temporal suspension. <laughs> Something... <laughs> has been planted around you just to corrupt the good seed. I want you to look at that thing that has been planted around you to limit your destiny. Are you there? Big time. If you don't look at that thing, get to know you'll be limited. However good you may seem to be, are you there? Big time. However gifted you are, if your gift is corrupted, you will end up failing. Are you there? Big time. You see a very wise person failing in every business they do. There is something that has corrupted the gift that would have made that business go to another level. Look around yourself. When you begin thinking, what comes first? You sit down to plan. The first thing that comes in your head is how to lie. <laughs> and you think you succeed you're lying yourself <laughs> you sit down to plan anything and the first idea that comes the idea is to lie I'm going to lie like this and that and that and that, and that. if you run your life around that then you're building your life on a very shaky foundation. It will collapse. As a child of God, always look around. Say, what's that seed that has been assigned to corrupt me? Examine it real well. Examine it properly and begin dealing with it. So that you may go to another level. Are you there? Are you there? God does not use animals. God uses humans. God sits in humans. Let that be in you. It is a human who empower other things. But for God to use, He will use a human. Is you a human who will put a tree here and begin calling it God? Are you a tree? You are my God. It's you who put baskets under your bed and begin to worship them, calling them your gods. And the demons will come and sit in them because God will not be in those things. But what I was 
teaching you is look at that thing that have been assigned to corrupt you. It might be fear. Whenever you're going to do something, sensible, you find yourself fearing to do it. It is corrupting the gift that would bless you. It might be anger that you disconnect from every good person that would truly bless you. You have anger. You are too much of a room among us. There is something that has been assigned to proceed from your heart and then corrupt a good seed. It's a spirit. It's not something that you it's been assigned to fail you. If there's any form of failure around you, it's not far away from that. Something was assigned to corrupt you. It might be that you get discouraged so fast. You get a small challenge, you withdraw. Yet challenges are meant to strengthen us, to make us learn more. So the enemy may corrupt you with a seed of, of discouragement that any small challenge cause you to surrender. And then you fail in life. Every good and bad thing has challenges. There is nothing without a challenge. Unless it has no life. So friend, look at yourself and see is there any seed in me that have been assigned to corrupt me? Each and every level there are some seeds you must drop for you to continue higher. If you continue with the same thing, it will destroy you. They have given you a contract. They have trusted you because of your good work. And they say, go and make a budget. As you go to sit down, instead of thinking about delivering good work. You are thinking of how to make a difference. That out of this project, I must build my own solid house. Now, the corrupt speed has come. Then you make a budget. You put that thing of yours. When you present it, the same speed will say, ah, uh, that one in the thief is too high. When you say, of what spirit is it? <laughs> I brought you something good. You allowed bad seeds to come and sit in it. Are you there? Time. So now, we are going to pray. Rise up. Look at yourself. And say, what is that bad seed that is corrupting my destiny? Lift up your hands and say, Father, help me to know my errors. Righteous Father, help me to know my errors. Whatever corrupt seed around me assigned to fail me. Let your fire consume it. Lord, every weed the enemy has planted around me to corrupt the good seed in me. Let your fire consume it. Touch.